Greetings. Today we're going to take on something ambitious and hopefully this is the start of something big. You may have heard about Elon Musk's method of learning any subject several times faster than normal, known as the semantic tree. However, he doesn't get into specifics about how to do that because obviously he doesn't have time to create trees to teach other people. Maybe his companies have some internal material that he uses to teach employees, but it doesn't quite exist freely on the web. And I did a YouTube search and there's very little content about that. And to give you an idea of what the semantic tree is, here is an image of a fractal tree and any subject can be simplified down to the core, the trunk and the roots, but mainly the trunk. And then after that, the primary branches of knowledge, which are the thick branches, and then the secondary branches after that, which are thinner branches, and then smaller factoids, which are the little twigs and leaves. And organizing any subject this way can make learning that subject not just much, much faster, but will improve your retention. You won't forget what you learned. And current educational institutions are not good at doing that. And if you recall from this video up here, I predict the downfall of the existing educational paradigm or the K through 12 education as well as universities because it is horrendously expensive, it is exclusionary, it is outdated, it survives on a scarcity mentality. Some people on the web are trying to create their own courses, but those are still just of somewhat lower cost. Across YouTube, you see many YouTubers saying, here's my course to teach you X and it costs $2,000 find this cheaper than a university, but there is no recognized accreditation associated with that. And for that reason, the course is a bit too expensive and it still somewhat depends on scarcity mentality. I want to change that by creating these semantic trees for a number of different subjects and enlisting other people to do the same. And hopefully this is the start of a movement that lowers the cost of education in terms of both time and monetary expense, not by twice or three times, which isn't really a disruption, but by a factor of a hundred or a thousand or 10,000. And then you get educational technology through there that helps. In the atom age, according to atom principles, this is in fact to be expected. It is resonant with the principles of technology and economics because there's so much good content out there that's available for free or low cost, both on YouTube and elsewhere on the web. It just needs to be organized into a tree. Now I'm someone who teaches at Stanford University, so I do have teaching experience at the most elite of institutions, and I'm going to do this and hopefully inspire others to do the same. Now to explain more about what Elon Musk's tree method is, we shall go to the Art of Improvement channel for their description. Elon Musk has broken through that barrier with learning techniques that have proven successful not just once, but time and time again. A good argument could be made that Musk has leveraged his learning by becoming a disruptor. He and his companies have shifted entire industries, including the transportation sector, the energy sector, and the space sector. Here's how. When it comes to learning, Musk is quick to note that he believes that most people can learn more than they currently know. In a conversation on Reddit, Musk discussed his approach to learning and the structure he uses as such. One bit of advice, it is important to view knowledge as sort of a semantic tree. Make sure you understand the fundamental principles, i.e. the trunk and big branches, before you get into the leaves, details, or there is nothing for them to hang on to. From this, we begin to see Elon Musk's first rule of thinking. Rule number one, make sure you're building a tree of knowledge. What does this mean for you practically? Understand that not everything is weighed with equal gravitas or importance. When it comes to learning, there is a difference between material that ends up hanging from a branch and the material that makes up the base of the trunk of your tree. It's the periphery versus the central. Musk is a master of understanding what is at the core of each of the sectors his entrepreneurial ventures sit in. He starts there, ensuring that he has the best possible grasp on the trunk material before moving off into the minutiae of the branches and the leaves. Many of us do the opposite. We load up on periphery facts while never fully understanding how or why they connect back to the trunk. This outward facing in method leaves many of our brains overcrowded with misidentified and ultimately unimportant knowledge.
The result of our efforts is a tree with a toothpick trunk and an overload of teeming branches, threatening to snap off as we try to cram one more idea or thought within our brains. If you want to learn anything faster, you need to start with the materials that make up the trunk. It might be a tad slower at the onset, but without a sturdy trunk, you won't have the base to support any additional learning and skill. The brilliance of Elon Musk's learning strategy isn't necessarily in his ability to understand core central concepts. Many entrepreneurs over generations have had solid grasps on core tenets and principles. Musk's brilliance is found in his second rule of learning, which underlines his ability to build vast and towering trees of intellect across multiple sectors. Rule number two, you can't remember what you can't connect. This is how Musk was able to span sectors and shift entire industries seemingly overnight. He started with solid roots and dense trunks. And then, as he began to grow his knowledge upward, he began connecting branches and leaves together with other branches and leaves from other trees. Musk never learns a piece of information at random. Everything he intakes, he connects back to some deeper, more solid base. Most learners today are not master gardeners, but stick collectors. We walk around life, picking up tidbits here and tidbits there, until our arms are full of sticks. Musk plants trees in rich soil that grow to be thick and abundant centers of learning. You can do the same. You just need to embrace his two rules. Build the trunk first, then work tirelessly on making connections. Like any new system, it might take you a bit to get the hang of it. You might actually feel like you're learning slower than you did previously. That's okay. What you're actually doing is building the foundation for exponential growth. Henry Ford once said, If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. If you want to learn anything faster, try the Elon Musk approach. But be warned, you may end up becoming a rocket scientist far faster than you previously thought possible. So after that intro from the Art of Improvement channel, what is missing on the internet today is actual videos of trees organized for people to learn from easily because i think it's hard for most people to create their own tree yet if someone knows a subject very well they can figure out how to create the tree post it online link to all kinds of other free resources across youtube and the rest of the internet that fill out the thick branches small branches and ultimately the leaves of the tree and enable a tremendous acceleration in learning, which will also create a tremendous increase in the consumption of learning. And this is what assists in disrupting the educational paradigm. I'm not here to try and create a course that I can sell for $2,000 and hope that 2,000 people buy it and I make $4 million. A lot of YouTubers are doing that right now. I would rather create trees of subjects that I know well and post them online for free, other than what eventual ad revenue I will get when this channel is ultimately monetized, which is still not gonna be a lot. Because once you increase the education of society, you equip people to participate at a higher level of economic skill and all prosperity rises. It is now late 2021, it is far past the time when someone should spend four years and a huge amount of money to get a bachelor's degree when that has only a minimal correlation with what they might do in their first job and even employers can't explain why they require the bachelor's degree except that, well, everyone does it, so they do it. And then there's a second problem. What if you have to retrain for a substantially different career when you're 50 years old? A lot of people have to do that. The tree method might be the only way for the salvation of the older worker as well. So I'm gonna start creating trees and I'm gonna post them about specific subjects. I know about 40 subjects very, very well and can create a tree about them and this is related to the fact that as many of you know i teach at stanford university and specifically teach about the new economics of disruptive technologies and you'll see my course description in the box below but if i make a lot of trees like this i may also move away from teaching at stanford because there's worldwide scale in this type of approach and i want to encourage others to create trees for other subjects that they know better than i do and I want to enlist the rest of you in this community to help this goal. This is a small community. We're 546 subscribers at the moment, but that number is growing every day. If you hate the fact that college costs this much or that people have to withstand such a huge cost 
of both time and money just to gain an entry ticket to the workforce or that student loans are a crushing burden or that you had to pay a huge amount of money for the fees of your child attending an educational institution, whether that be a K through 12 private school or a university and you feel that, what are you really getting for your money? Then you should be a huge supporter of this, not just for yourself, but for everyone because big disruptions happen when something is much more efficient in terms of time and cost and is then partaken in by millions of people. And these are the atom principles. So Elon Musk has started the ball rolling on this with just enlightening us about the semantic tree of knowledge. But I'm going to create step two, which is actual examples of actual subjects. And I want you to join me on this journey. And it's going to be one of the themes of this channel as well, among all the existing themes. And ultimately, we'll have a lot of different modules for a lot of essential subjects that people can learn in just 30, 40, 50, 60 hours, rather than 2,000 or 5,000 hours to learn something and for little or no cost. So if you think this is exciting, I encourage you to partake in this vision with me, as well as to subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching.